I'm going to have some fun today. I want to make an 18650 charger using this uh, 4 socket 18650 holder. Um, and then I'm going to use the uh, TP4056 charging module. Um, and I'm going to use one per, I'm going to use one for each one of these uh, slots. So it'll do four batteries all on a separate module. Um, I'm not going to use the USB power supply um, as I'm going to hardwire that with a old computer power supply. So I think that's what I'll do. So let's get to it. So I found with uh, with these holders, the center the center is full height, and it doesn't have a spot to allow me to get my fingers under it to pull these batteries out. So what I did was I took a drill and I just kind of ground out the center. And that's going to allow it to be much easier to get the cells out when they're finished charging. Um, now I can grab them and actually get my fingers under them to actually help get them out. Okay, so now that I've got all that done, I've got the prototype done. I've got these things all worked out. Um, I need to make 24 more of these. Um, before I can put them on the board. Um, so I'm going to do that now and see how long that takes. So let's get to that. Okay, all of these, all of these boards are now all tinned, uh, pre-soldered, um, so that that'll make it a little bit faster when I'm trying to get everything together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did before, which is jumper them all together, um, and then once they're all jumpered together, then I'll deal with attaching them to the 18650 tray. show you one real time. I'm actually starting to get going pretty good. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely worth it to put these things together first. So here we go. I'm going to take that, bend,
yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend, you know, if you're going to do a whole bunch of these to, you know, set everything up instead of trying to do it one at a time, definitely increases production. If you're only doing one though, I mean, obviously that's pretty easy or a couple of them. You just want to make sure you're doing it right and do it that way. So you got to give it a couple seconds before you lift because the solder is still cooling. It needs a couple seconds. And that is that. That's how, that's how long it takes when it's all set up. No, it's not completely done, but this part of the process. And it's all working. have 24 of these set up so that's 96 cells uh, now I need to just kind of I need to build to wire this up so that I can power the whole thing at once I'm actually going to use this um, solar wire that I have um, I'm going to run that around the board and I'm going to zip tie that to the board and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of splice into it with some wire and solder it to each module and I think that'll work. Um, it might not be pretty. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm going to try and wire this board up and see how that goes. Now that I've got my wire in place, um, obviously I need to put a connector on the end here. So I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna add an XT60 connector over here. Okay, so this is what I've decided to do. I've done a couple of them already, so I kind of got this worked out. Um, I kind of just got to expose the wire. Not a, not a lot, just enough to be able to get some solder to adhere to it. Um, and then same thing on the negative side. The 
And because this is solid copper and there's a lot of it, um, it takes a few seconds to heat up that heat up that copper so that the uh, solder will fuse to it. So you kind of got to just let it sit there for a second. And repeat that for the negative wire. I think that's good enough. And then I have a couple of wires already and they're pre-tinned for me. So I'm just gonna take that one and solder it there. You can see it's, it's on there pretty good now. And then just solder it to the positive terminal. And then this one here. Same thing. All right, and that's attached there now. And then we want to attach that to switch hands here. So then this is now attached to the supply and I have the power supply hooked up right now. So when I flick that on. Okay, so I am going to go, I'm going to go ahead and wire up the rest of these boards and then I will come back and we will throw some cells in and we will see if the charging process begins with this many cells on one board. So here it is, the 18650 charger, all done, um, 96 cells, and uh, I've cycled it a couple times and everything seems to be working pretty good. The one problem that I did have was the power supply that I was using from that old computer was just did not have the output power to do this many cells. So what I did get was this 5 volt, 100 amp power supply, and that's working really well. Uh, to get all the chargers working for all of these cells um, and nothing's getting hot and I'm, I'm cycling it still doing some testing on it making sure that uh, it's not gonna light my house on fire is it perfect nope is it gonna do exactly what I want yep I just need to get through all of the cells that I have and this is gonna save me a lot of time so that it to me is worth a lot so that's going to be pretty useful going forward so yeah so I'm pretty happy with that if you like this video click that like button if you want to see more videos click that subscribe button don't forget to click the notification bell and if you know somebody who might be interested in this video please share it I'd appreciate it other than that I thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time